In this video, we're going to look at how to animate cursive fonts using Echo in After Effects. Hi, I'm Adam Bennett. This is the video shop. Animating cursive fonts can be tricky. I hate it! So I want to show you a method which may make things a bit easier. I already talked about how to animate cursive fonts with consistent stroke width in an earlier tutorial. And also how to animate awkward brush or marker fonts here. So why this video? The method I'm about to show you doesn't require any masking or mats, so you might find it preferable. A different approach to the same problem. Before we start, I need to give a nod to E.C. Abrams and his excellent method of animating paint strokes. I'm basically still in his method, so definitely check out his tutorial if you haven't already. As usual, you'll find a link to the free project file below if you want it. Right, let's get started. Start by drawing over your text with the pen tool, so you create a line which traces over it. Be conscious of how you want the characters to draw on and join up and make sure you don't have any layers selected so this stroke creates a new shape layer. It doesn't need to be exact straight away, as you can tweak it later. You don't need the font, obviously respect any restrictions on usage, but since your text will be entirely on shape layers, or even just one shape layer, you could simply trace an illustration or be making a vector version of a shitty quality image the client has supplied. Once you've sketched the overall shape of the text, finesse the path shape. For bits where the stroke width varies, just aim for the middle. Next we'll create a new shape layer which will serve essentially as a pen tip. And we'll copy and paste the path shape we just drew onto the position of our pen tip. If we drop the opacity of our guide text, we can see we've now got a circular pen tip which appears to draw over the text. It's janky as hell right now and we need to refine it, but it's a start. We'll need to time the pen strokes. We've got roving keyframes here, so in this case that means the timing is only affected by adjusting the first and last linear keyframes. But we want the pen movements to slow down and stop at certain key points, such as here when we get halfway through drawing the E. To do that, I find the easiest way is to click on that particular vertex point in the comp window, then right click and uncheck rove across time. This will give you an easy ease keyframe, and you can start to refine the timing in the graph editor like this. But you could always just make this whole thing animate over say 30 seconds, longer than you need, then time remap it later on. It's up to you, just bear in mind that you will need to make the timing realistic at some point. My god, how boring. Since there's usually more than one way to do things in After Effects, I'll show you another method of tracing the text. Pull up your motion sketch window, then make sure the background box is checked. Press start capture, and then you just draw over the text. If your capture speed is set to 100, it'll record your movement in real time, so the output is timed for how long it took you to trace over the text. I've applied it to a null, but you can apply motion sketch to anything in your timeline. And we've now got position keyframes. You might end up with far too many keyframes to comfortably tweak, but you can use the smoother to reduce them. Motion sketch could also be handy if, say, you're animating your signature. For some reason I can't fathom right now. I mean, the only time I need to do my signature nowadays is on those handheld things delivery menus, and it always comes out looking like I did it on an extra sketch. Right. So whichever method you use, once you've tweaked the path for your pen tip, you'll end up here. We have a dot moving over the text. To make it seem like it's drawing, we need to add the echo effect, which you'll need to apply to all the shape layers which are drawing your text. I use these settings, but feel free to tweak depending on how quickly your text is animating on. So that gives us an animated pen stroke, without all the faff of masking and matting we need to do if we use the stroke with trim paths. Next you'll want to animate the scale of your pen tip and this bit very much depends on what font you're animating. You don't have to have a circle. If you're animating a fountain pen, you might use something like this. I quickly knock this up using some fractal noises of mat and dropping the opacity of the pen tip. But with a bit of tweak and a keyframing, you can certainly match the different ink densities you see here. Or you can add rough and edges to the circle to create something that looks like graffiti. But anyway, back to our cursive text. With a bit of time and patience, with your scale and position keyframing and timing, you'll eventually end up with something like... Okay, maybe a bit more patience. Something like this. And if you're not sure how to add stroke and shadow, just shout in the comments or download the project file. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.